Hey, how's it going? And today we're taking a look at what subscribing is in the verse language. And what we've got here is we've got three devices. So we've got our verse device, we've got a HUD message device, and we've got a trigger device. Normally what we could do is the trigger device could normally just trigger the HUD device to display a message. But in this case, what we're doing is we're having the trigger device basically connect to our verse device and then the verse device it's going to subscribe and bind to a function in the verse device that's that going to call for the message to be displayed. So this device could normally just communicate straight to this one but for the purposes of showing what subscribing is we're going to insert a verse device in between them. This is going to trigger an event in here. It's going to pick it up that this has been triggered it's going to subscribe and create a, its own binding to a function that's written inside of here. And then this is going to trigger the HUD device to show. And what we end up with is something very simple and it just looks like this. So there's our trigger device. And when I step on it, a print string is going to print and a message on the screen is going to appear. So it's going to say, thanks for subscribing. And then there was a print string and that's all there is to it. So hopefully I can clear up any confusion about what subscribing is with this tutorial and I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so we're back and to get started with this we just need three devices and let's just go get two of those right now. We'll go into devices and we need a HUD message device right here and then we need a trigger device and I mentioned this previously but we should get away from using buttons and if we're going to trigger things, we should probably just use a trigger. And the reason why is that buttons can be hard for people to press and access. Unless they're maybe like a really big special customized button. But the default buttons in Unreal Editor can be hard for players to access. So we don't need to do anything with our trigger. It's just a passive device. And then we have our HUD device. And you can just put any message you want in here. I'm just going to type in, thanks for subscribing. <laughs> kind of a play on words there today. Now what we're gonna do is create our verse device. So I'll go into Verse Explorer, right click, add new verse file to project. We can leave it called Hello World, doesn't matter. And go create and save. And it's gonna create a folder with that device in it. It's over here, I need to clear my search bar. And if I double click here, I can go into the code, but it's a lot faster just to click here to go into the code. And then as I usually do, I have the code already written and I'll just kind of walk you through what it is. It's not, it's not complicated, the code. It's just, I think the issue is just getting your mind around the terminology because it's just, it has, Verse has its own terminology and way of doing things. So I'll just go control C and control V. So up here on top are just the standard modules and this just creates our creative device right there. And here, the at editable basically adds a verse reference to a created device. And one is our trigger device, and the other is our HUD message device. And if you want to know what these things can do, once you have the code in there, you can hit con control and left click, and it'll take you to all the parameters and functions that are available to you in that. So that's a real handy feature. Although I wish in here they would actually give you more of a code example. I think that would be nice. My trigger is basically the name of the variable reference to the trigger device, right? So then on this trigger device, there is a what's called a triggered event. And if we come over here, if I, if I come here and click control, you can see we have a triggered event but that it requires, it's listenable and it requires an agent in it. So, and it says what it is right here. It says, sends the agent that used this device, returns false if no agent triggered the action. What is subscribe? And subscribe is basically how we bind a function to a creative device event. So the way I like to think of it is, Subscribe allows a function you code to be called when an event occurs. So subscribe is basically saying, hey, you can use this event that happened on this device to trigger a function you've written in your code. The function that I've written in my code 
is called display message and it's going to need an agent and then under this function that I've written I'm going to print a string and then I'm going to make a call to the HUD device a function called to the HUD device to trigger its message and that's what this one does show and let me just go ahead and drag this device onto the so it's clear basically we don't need this device this trigger could call this HUD device on its own so we don't need this device how you have it in here just for this example when the trigger is triggered it's gonna pop up here in our code it's gonna send a message here because we have a reference to it that it's been triggered and once it's been triggered this is our code here right once it's been triggered once it's been triggered through the triggered event then the subscribe says hey I will bind to any function that you write in here and so the function that I've written in here is just a print string and a call function to to show the HUD and that's all it is it's just a way for us to allow a device to call a function that we've written in our verse code display message is the called function and they also refer to it as a handler anyway with all that said we'll come back here and we're just gonna build our our verse code and then once we do we just have to link up the references here so we'll hook up our trigger and our HUD device and we should be good to go so I'll launch the session and I'll be back in just a second to test okay so it started back up and I'll hit start and this is pretty anticlimactic because all that's going to happen is two little messages are going to pop up on the screen but so when we walk over to the trigger device it's just going to display a print string in the left corner and our head message in the center thanks for subscribing and that's it so I hope you found this helpful take care and have a great day